Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, this video is the continuity of Pandas playlist. So, we, in last video, we have talked about what Pandas is. Pandas is a Python library that gives us amazing tools to do data analysis. Moreover, it's a free source. We can manipulate data. We can do many things with our data. So, uh, we have already talked about how we can load a data in csv format and it's quite easy in pandas as we don't require any csv reader or all such stuff we need in file reading uh, we have already talked about some important attributes as well as methods uh, in pandas uh, such as data types and head tail method info method we can also set maximum number of rows and columns to be displayed okay fine so now I will tell you guys how we can assess a particular row or a particular column from our data set. Now I can get all the column names using this attribute with your df.columns. Here df is actually my uh, data frame. So I can get all the column names and it will also tell the data type of that col column names. It is object basically. So now what if I want to assess a single column? So here if I want to assess only a single column that is a name column I can do that using this square brackets and if you want to assess multiple columns within this then you have to use double square brackets fine. So here you can do uh, let's say I want to get the fair also so here you can use multiple fine so you got it name along with fair. Well, here you can see the difference between the outputs of both this. When we are calling multiple columns, it is returning us a data frame. But when we are calling a single column, fine. When we are assessing a single column, it is returning us a series. Well, data frame, I have already told you a little bit in my last video. Guys, if you have not watched my last video, just go and watch it. You will be more clear with the concepts. As we already know that data frame is basically rows and columns having data. But series is a list of data. You can get multiple definitions from internet. But in layman words, I can say that it's a row of rows of actually single objects not multiple objects it in simple words it's a row of single objects so we are getting here series we can check that uh, check this by checking its type okay so it's a series but if we check the type of this it's a data frame fine so remember the difference between data frame and series. Well, what if I want to assess multiple columns more than two or more than three? Sorry, my bad. It's not. It's a DM. So it's a data frame again. You can check its type as well. Now this is all about columns. How we can assess a single column. How we can assess a multiple column. But what if I want to assess a particular rows from a particular column? Let's say if I want a name column, but I only want the names from row number third to fifth. I can do that as well. So here is it. Here I'm assessing a single column that is ticket and I'm assessing row from fourth row to ninth row. So I will get all the values. Fine. Now, next we will see how we can assess rows. So there are basically two methods for assessing rows. First one is I lock and the second one is lock method. Well, I lock stands for index location and lock for location. So when we use indexing to assess a particular row or particular rows, then we use I lock. Okay, let's uh, see our data frame. Basically how it looks like. So this is our data frame. And let's see, I want to assess this third row so basically third row here uh, we can use i log for default indexes okay fine and when we use log then we use a label as indexes when we give this labels as indexing so here if i want to assess the third row i can use this i log 
and within square brackets that particular location fine i can also assess multiple rows using double square bracket similar to that columns we have already done this we can assess double multiple rows as well well what if i want to use log i can well i log is my favorite actually you can use either i log or log so what you have to do in log we have to use this label indexes in, instead of this default indexes because this default indexes the panels it give by itself but the indexes we give here as a label we will use this for log and if i want to do same like i want to assess the third here is the same because the here the passenger id is same as that of the, no it's not same actually here by default it is zero but passenger id is one we have give, labeled it as one then it is one two now what uh, if i want to assess this third row i will say df dot log into uh, within square brackets i have to give four fine so if i give four it will return me the value this value fine it has returned me uh, above so next what if i want to assess a particular rows with particular columns not all the columns like here when i am uh, i am assessing this third third row actually it's third row by default but we have indexed it as a four we have labeled it as four so it is returning us all these values but i want this name and age column as well so what we can do we can just do with the help of this square brackets fine so you got a data frame for this zero and one one first row with these particular columns you can do it for multiple rows as well and you can do slice do slicing as well so this is an assignment for you guys you have to perform slicing for rows and columns so here is an assignment for you guys well in this video we have discussed about how we can assess a particular rows multiple rows even rows with particular columns we know how to assess columns and column indexes so guys just perform this assignment and as usual you will get this code this notebook in the description below and if you have not watched the first video please go and watch it you will be more clear with the concepts thank you stay tuned bye bye